So the popular cry at the time was feed the yak. And when they did feed you, it was score. people were rarely disappointed. How do you reflect <laughs> on your time at Pompey? It was, it was great, you know, coming all the way from uh, Maccabi and uh, my first club here in England. Pompey will always be special and the fans are special as well, you know. Did you have any doubts that you could transport goals from Israel, where you had a great record, to English football? No, really, because coming all the way from uh, Maccabi and uh, playing in the Champions League, scoring goals as well, the, the, the confidence the, was there already. And uh, for me to be here in England, to play in Portsmouth, then it was the championship. Then it was something special, I never doubt myself. Just briefly, tell us how your time came at Pompey. How, how did it happen? We just finished the Champions League, then I went back home. Then uh, my agent called me and he's talking about there's a club called Portsmouth. I don't know, I don't know, I I don't know Portsmouth. I'm like, where's Portsmouth? He said, they got a great supporters, they're really, really nice there. You just need to go there and uh, do the job and uh, you'll be fine. They got one striker, then it was the recent pericard, you know. Mm. It was so funny, it was like, oh, he's not a bad player, but I think you're more stronger than uh, than him. You just go there and, uh, and destroy them. And uh, that's the confidence I have there. And then I came in, the first training session was quite hard. You know, coming all the way from uh, Maccabi, where it's all about possession, then coming to England where it's all about possession and run. It was quite, first training session was quite hard. If there were any doubts about scoring goals over here, you soon dispelled that. Scored on your home debut against Grimsby in the fourth minute, and then seven days later, a brace against Derby. Oh, it was special, you know. Like I said, you know, my first game, I still remember my first game was against uh, Brighton away. Yeah. I think I played about 20, 20 minutes or so, you know. The 20 minutes, when I keep saying the same thing every day, you know, 20 minutes was like uh, 120 minutes for me. It was quite <laughs> hard, you know, coming all the way from uh, Maccabi. In Israel, way, it's all about possession. It's not, the football is not that quick like in England, yeah, scoring and playing, that, playing the game and then came back here yeah, to play and score. It was something special. It gave me more confidence and I believe I can do it. How special was that side at the time with Paul Merson in there? Paul Merson was great, you know. You know, he always liked to use his side foot and uh, to have people around with Stone, Stoney. Steve Stone was here as well. Teddy came, then uh, Tim Sherwood. I remember, Timmy, when you have these guys around you, is like inspiration for me, you know. I learned from these guys. Shaka Ishlo was the as well, you know. They're all big names, Ari Dizzo. It was something special, they made me feel at home. If one game stood out that season, it was the 5-0 victory at Millwall, where it had Premier Class damped all over it. You actually scored two that day, but it was perhaps unfairly dumped, uh, dumped the Merson game. I know, yeah, it was, it, was, it was special, you know, scoring goals in that league and uh, win the championship then, you know, get a promotion, it was special. Get a promotion to Premier League. We did it in style, you know, then <laughs> to, to win it, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and then you get to the Premier League, the promised land. Um, don't know if you know this fact, but you are the first player to ever score at the had Stadium. I, How about that? I, I, st I still remember, I think some of my mates, they took his son to Manchester lately, then they sent me a picture of it, you know. Yeah. My jersey is still, still there in the dressing room, you know. I was like, it means so much to me. It means so much the hard work I've put in on and uh, to play, the joy is special. Putting on the, the, the blue shirt, Portsmouth, to play here, to represent the, 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 the team, to get a promotion to Premier League, to stay in the Premier League before I left was special. How did you find the fans? It was unbelievable. The Mr. 
Pompey guy who used to always, yeah, he's crazy. He when it's freezing, he's, he's still no no top on, you know. He was special. Every game you see him all the way. And I still remember when we played against Arsenal, we lost, I think, 5-1 when it was pissing down the rain, you know, everyone was like still there. Cheering the boys it was something I so special I will never forget. Yeah, you mentioned that bad defeat at Arsenal. It was inevitably a season of struggle, but you still end up top scorer and sixth highest scorer in the Premier League that season. So you were destined to score goals in whatever team. As a striker, for me, I always have that belief I can score goals no matter what team I, I played for. Like they said, they said, when you feed him, we always score, you know. <laughs> so I always believe I can score goals and I can help the team. And I wish I did here yeah, to, to score, to keep them in the Premier League. Wish I did to to be in the Premier League. I think Todi, Todorov was there, was scored, it was, I think he scored about 25 goals that year. Then I, when I came in, we we got good players around. Then Lua Lua came, Dejan, we got Niger Kwaje. We, we got too many leaders in the team who wants to play. It was an honour. A bright spot which actually kick-started that season and led to survival was Pompey 1, Southampton 0. Yeah. And again, you scored the win. How special was it <laughs> score in that game? That was my special goal. I still remember, you know, scoring a game Southampton was one one of the special goals I always... The ball from uh, Steve Stone and uh, I put it there. It was special. Beating them was special to me. I still remember. And that was March, and we hadn't won since January the 1st. So it kick-started the season. You, you won at Blackburn next week, and again, you score the winner. And we go on this unbeaten run that, that yeah, keeps us safe. I see, I, I remember because we were under pressure. I think we lost about four games in a row, and then the Malaysia Ali was a little bit, everyone in the dressing room was a little bit tense. Then I still remember Ali was talking about, we need to win our own games. Once we win our own games, he think we'll, we'll be fine. We just need to go away and uh, try to get a win or get a draw. We don't need to get beaten. And uh, get, we get, then Salamti came over, then I scored, and uh, we never stop there. We keep winning games, winning our own games, and uh, we stayed up. How is it to play in a Pompey Southampton game for a player like you? Oh, special. Their neighbours, you know, <laughs> beating them. I think it's been very, very long time we beat them, and uh, for we to do that in style. I still remember one of the fans came over to to grab my neck, like to celebrate, you know. But it was special. You ended with a flourish that season, also four goals against Middlesbrough, the team you'd eventually join. Thanks to the Middles uh, Middlesbrough defender, <laughs> I think they make the move. Uh, Easy for me, you know, but it was the last game of the season. I think uh, everyone was like, let's just go there and finish it, get the job done. And uh, we got players like uh, Eyal Bekovic, who oh, is something special. It's just for you to make the run, then uh, he will give it to you. And I was lucky enough to, to score four goals, and it was good. Second season was a bit of a strange one. Harry leaving, how did the players react to when Harry went? It was hard, you know. Harry, Harry went to is it Salamte? Yeah. yeah, he went to the opposite side, you know. <laughs> it, it was a little bit uh, strange for everyone, you know, when he left from Portsmouth to Salamte. But we have to get on with our own job, and I think we we did it well. And uh, we we struggled a little bit when he left. I still remember we we, we struggled, but we still stay in the league that year. But it was tough to, to lose him. So it must have been surreal when Southampton come to Fratton Park again and you virtually guarantee our safety and, uh, and condemn them to relegation with a 4-1 victory. And again, you get the ball rolling. Yeah. I, I, it was special, you know, scoring against Southampton, you know. You see, it means so much to the fans as well, you know. We just want to, to get the job done and uh, we just want to beat them and for we to do it and uh, for we to do it and to make them go down everyone was, everyone was happy. 
How influential was Harry in bringing you here? And did it in any way hasten your departure? Oh, Harry was one of the top, top managers I've ever worked with, you know. For him to give, him, to, for him to give me the opportunity to come to England to play for Portsmouth is an honor. I will never forget about that. He gave me the chance to, to come here and play, and uh, I, I took my chances. And he is special. The man management was unbelievable. The way he speaks to players, the way he, he motivates players is quite different. It's unbelievable. So the second part of that question, did that in any way hasten your departure from Pompey? He did not. I think I did well then uh, Middlesbrough came for me. I think they, they played in the European Cup, you know, that's why I left. Yeah. I think uh, as a football player, you, you develop and to move to the next stage, I think I left at the right time. And then, of course, you went on to Everton, um, so it, it got better for you. As a sport man, you want every season to be better for you. From Maccabi Haifa to Portsmouth to Middlesbrough, then to Everton, it's like another step forward. And uh, Everton there, they're fighting uh, to Europe. They want to play in the Champions League, they want to play in the European League. So for me, it's an honour to be in those club at that time which is good. Will you always have a soft spot for Pompey? Yeah, but I still remember I always scored against them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice to score against your former, I, I, uh, former I, club. I, but I wasn't, wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> I knew you were to say that. <laughs> but it, it, I knew but it's part of my job, but it's special here. Yeah. Well, even when you scored against us, not quite when you scored against us, but your time at Pompey, the pleasure was all ours, mate. The time was unbelievable. It was great coming all the way as a young boy from Maccabi to to London to England to Portsmouth, and uh, they gave me the chance, the platform to develop more, to show my quality, my, and I did it. And uh, I will always be grateful for them, to for them for giving me the chance to show my 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 skills, my my potential. Thank you very much and great to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope to see you again.